part 7 finally and it's going pretty well so far got a lot of momentum only on turn 10 and we're already at this stage with a rank 6 Dun and Sao Sao which is only one behind the 7 of Lu Bu on turn 1 over here so in only 10 turns we've already pretty much caught up to Lu Bu with two of our generals pretty sweet and of course become a really dominant power on the map with a really consolidated solid round position that we're doing well to control like the north and the northeast are not exposed they're protected for now and our armies are all facing the south where the threats are so pretty good so first of all before i get into it some clarifications so i was getting a bit confused about the state of the archer ammo down here so we've got 31 on Gojia with his plus 65% and I was doing this, I was going to the recruitment preview here and I was looking at it and it was giving me 22 and I was thinking alright so it should be 22 plus 65% and come out at nearly 40 so I was getting cheated but what's actually happening here is the base amount of ammo for Archer Militia is 19 and then in the preview screen here it factors in the plus 15% so it boosts up to 22 and you can see that in the bar there it's represented by a different shade and then if I was to actually make the unit it would also get Salsal's 41% ammo or Dune's 1% ammo so they would if I was to make it here with Salsal it would come out at 30 or 31 just like it is under Gojia because Salsal has plus 41 and Gojia has plus 50 so yeah it's all it's not discrepant it's not it's not bugged so if you go down here and test it on Sal Ren or Lady Bayan no wait yeah right so Lady Bayan with her plus 16 percent it just shows the base of 19 and then if I was to make the unit it would come out with like 22 or 23 because of the 16 percent so yeah, the base is 19, and then in the preview scroll it factors in the 15% bonus from Brilliant, and then it shows the 19 plus 15% for 22, and then if you actually make the unit, then it gets the cunning bonus of, for example, 50% here. So that's how it goes from 19 up to 22, and then up to 31 once it's actually underneath Gojia, so it all makes sense now. Someone left a comment uh, speculating that it was because of the... what's it called again? Yeah, the plus 15% for all units own armies in this county, so that's the way it previews it and then actually provides the unit. So yeah, everything is fine. Nothing is a miss. Alright, so we got... Uh, Jan Wei. The Brute of Unmatched Power, he's a beast, he is a fucking beast. He's got armour of 85 and that's because he has 75 armour here which is just about as high as it goes. The highest is 80, I think Lu Bu has 80 armour. So Jan Wei is sitting there with 75 armour and then he also has plus 10% from this skill. So he's got 85 base armour. And he's also got really high resolve. I think this is the highest starting resolve I've ever seen. So far anyway. And that means that he's got a massive bodyguard with really high armour. And if you have a big bodyguard, that synergizes really well with high armour. So get champions, give them high armour. Perfect. So if you think about it, he comes out with a bodyguard that has about 100 men and I'm probably going to deploy him down here to help take this city in a minute but just thinking about it right now 100 men with 85 armour that's like 100 times 85, 8500 if you think about it like that and then if you look at for example Sal Sal, just take Sal Sal right so he's got 55% armour with 63 men so that comes out at about 3000 in terms of the robustness of the unit in that sense in terms of just like flat damage absorbing capability so 
that Jan Wei bodyguard is like three times as chunky as Sao Sao, who is actually a pretty tough unit on his own already. So this guy can achieve a hell of a lot in the battlefield. If you give him clean charges into units of swords, for example, his 100 horses will rapidly overcome the unit. Pretty sweet, just charge him around. So I'm gonna upgrade him with scare and running speed. And he also has plus 12% speed from his armor. That's another thing he's got. And he's got this base resolve of plus 30. And if you compare that with Dune, his is only plus 20, so yeah, Jan Wei is a beast. What I want to do for this part is take these two cities. So if I can do that, I'll be happy. Another thing, this expert's leather that I was a little bit confused about, that came from the faction leader that we took out down here, the unbreakable one that died. So when he died, there was a small chance that he would drop an ancillary, and he did indeed drop his expert's leather. Sweet. So I'm gonna give that to Sao Ren, even though it reduces expertise by three. So making use of everything. And uh, oh yeah, a patron commented on the food surplus that I've got, remarking that it is, it does seem like to be really high, 19 food surplus, and that's only given us 12% income from peasantry. So of course I've been aware of this. I'm always aware that I've got a surplus of food, and I would rather have it being sold for like 19 times 70, so that's like 1,340, 1,330 a turn, so I think, if I calculated that right. So, I could be getting a lot of money from that and diplomacy, but this treachery, minus 12 untrustworthiness, that means that we're going to get a raw deal if we try and get compensated monetarily for anything that we try and huck off. So I was quite tentative about looking at diplomacy very often, but I've thought about it and uh, we have new trading partners we can try and do shit with, like Leo Bial here. Don't know how to say this. Fuck. So this guy is actually willing to buy food, so if I was to give him Four food for seven diplomatic weight, he would be willing to pay about 300 and something. Yeah, so 310 for four food. I'll do a deal like that all day long. That's like seven each. So for just four food being offloaded, we can get 310 a turn for the next 10 turns. So that gives us a bit of a surplus income. Oh yeah, another thing. I can do an assignment here, so I'm gonna give... gonna give Zhang Ba an assignment. So... 50% food production. And we're producing quite a lot of food here. Yeah, so... That'll give us an extra... 3 food, I think. And then there's the four. So that's another seven food, I think. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh yeah, another thing. There's not any other trade partners that I can do something with this food with. Like if I give them food, they'll give me a really crappy ratio exchange rate. So yeah, I've already tested this in advance and I'm not going to be getting a good deal elsewhere. It's just this guy. And also I have an ongoing deal with Yan Shao for one unit of food. So I can renew that next turn and maybe sell him more food, higher quantities, for more profit. But there's something we can do with our food. So there was a piece of armor. Yeah, Liu Bei has this. So Forged Iron Scale, it's a mid-tier champion armor piece and that's 7.7, .7, so I can give 7 food, that's quite a lot, that will be like 500 income a turn for 10 turns, so that's like 5,000 I would think about it as. And then if I buttress that with a flat payment of 74, I can get this piece of armor, 
so that's worth it. So we're down to a surplus of eight food now from nineteen, and I think that means that we get about. It's not refreshed. It says twelve percent and come from peasantry still. So how can I refresh that? Fuck, I don't know. I think that's a delay on the interface being updated. I think it's meant to be much less than 12% income from peasantry now. We only have an 8 surplus, so I think it should go down to about 8% income from peasantry. It's not linear. So you're incentivized to offload your food and not have massive excesses of it, because it has diminishing returns. The benefits from having a food surplus. Yeah, so it's a lot better to have used that 11 food than to have a 4% income from peasantry because our actual peasantry income, if we figure it out, I think it only comes out at about... I think that's applied to the base amount, so it's probably only given us about 20 or 30 income, that 4%. Yeah, that's crap. So it was a, it was definitely worth it to do that there, so thanks to the patron that pointed that out. Good shit. So now we're getting an extra... 310... Diplomacy income for the next 10 turns. And maybe more from Yan Shao next turn. And also that piece of armor that I can give to... Zhang Ba. So... He's not in the field, but if we were to make him an administrator, for example, then during siege defenses, he would be a bit more tanky and have higher resolve and instinct from the fact that he's wearing this. So that's a benefit. And also we can eventually sell this for diplomatic stuff later on. So it was worth it to exchange that food for that bit of armour. Sweet. Alright, so the plan down here... Wait, first of all... And he took Red Dune. So he's got... He's ranked 6 now. And we can give him spear infantry, armor, or reinforcement range. And I'm thinking I want to go along the top, so that settles that. His resolve is now almost as high as Jan Wei starts out with. <laughs> and he's got 95 out of 96. So over the course of the past six videos, this is the seventh, all those battles he's fought, all that upgrading we've done to him, he's just now almost caught up to Jan Wei in terms of the size of his bodyguard. <laughs> and there's those fuckers again. So, besieging the city, and then they might sally forth, especially if they have these guys backing them up. So I'm confident I can take them. So... They've got a garrison of medium archers and saber cavalry and some spears. So we can take them. Confident about that. What I'm thinking we're going to have to do is assault the settlement. So that ram that we're making, that may not even play a part. What I think I'll do is, if they sally forth, I'll fight them on the field and defeat them to the last man and take the city. Walk in, take the open city like I intend to do down here. But what I'm going to probably have to do is assault the city, drop the ram, scale the walls with my saber cavalry militia, capture the gates, maybe kill the archers on the walls. Uh, maybe we'll be under fire from the towers all the way. Maybe having to deal with these guys if they back them up. So down here... I'm going to move up to the border and then I'm going to have Jan Wei join in. So what I'm going to do is split this army up somehow. So I think I'm going to have Sao Ren split off and besiege and build a ram of course. So Sao Ren besieging so he can get a heroic victory for leading the, the fight against the Sally and Force. And then I'm gonna have Jan Wei join here. So. 61 out of 61. What the fuck? No, an ob <laughs> interface just updated. So it's at 99 out of 99. So nearly 100. 
Sweet. And I'm probably gonna give these Marshall G to Sal Ren. Because we need synergy. And the match Jian would not detract from resolve on Jan Wei, but they are reducing expertise on Sal Ren. And we can buff expertise with Jan Wei's twin Marshall G. But he's supposed to historically wield these all the time. Like they're meant to weigh 20 or 30 kilograms each and he goes into battle with two of them because he's that strong. The brute of unmatched power. So hmm, I might have to be a bit ahistorical and swap these around. At least for a while. So we've got two G militia on this guy that I don't want. They have an upkeep of 120 and they cannot block arrows and they're kind of crap in general. They can reflect cavalry charges but I don't really care about that. So I'm gonna get rid of these. 120 upkeep for those and Jan Wei himself only has a 175 upkeep. Fuck that. I'll just have more Jan Wei's where possible, thanks. So, he's got really good armor and all this stuff, so definitely want to have him on the field. That's why I'm going against what I usually would do in having pieces of armies right now. So there's only one general here with two units. And I might shuffle this around a bit so Jan Wei is in the main army. I should have Lady Bayan in charge though, I think. Because she's going to be the faction heir for a long time probably. So I want to get her. And she might eventually be the faction leader, I don't know. Thinking about it. Either way, she needs to get range block chance for melee cavalry, definitely. And I think they might replenish just by standing there. So if this army doesn't sally forth, we're at least going to be able to replenish. And then we'll have rams that we can use to maybe assault the city. Garrison down here is substantial. That's 11 units and there's two cavalry units there so have to be wary. Four archer units and the tank is depleted. We have saber, militia, cavalry that are one-third strength. This is part of why I went with getting Jan Wei down here. Could have put him in this army up here but we need him down here right now. I think eventually I'll go with Sao Sao, Gojia and Jan Wei because that seems to be kind of historical. Jan Wei was always really close to Sao Sao. Sao Sao and Gojia, friends. Yeah, I remember that. And of course the faction leader down here got wiped out. And what's this? So this guy is crap, 23, but he's got no good stats. Gao Pei, that's close to Sao Pei. Sao Pei. And I think I'll end turn now. I think that's pretty much it. Armies are where they need to be. Just about spending money, I think, but I don't see any good way to do that right now. So we've got two battles to fight, I think. This guy's not happy with it. Can I request aid? That's what I was thinking of. Nope. 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 Should I try and do some equipment shuffling right now? If I want to equip this, I think it will get stuck for a turn on cooldown. I'll have to merge them. Shit. Maybe I could put... Yeah, I'm doing it. I'm putting Jan Wei with Cao Ren. Hopefully I can do this now. So... Removing the matched Jian and then... Equipping them on this guy. And he just went legendary from instinct. <laughs> and then, yeah, good. So, Sal Ren now has 95 expertise. He's getting close. And a wooden fish. Alright, so I want to give that to probably Dune. Fuck, but he's already got this. Shit. Alright, so 
Looks like it's got to be Janway then. So he's got 133 resolve for 60% bodyguard size. So it sort of cancels out the... Removing the twin Marshal G from him, kinda. Definitely want to keep stacking resolve on this guy with his immense armor. Alright, that's it, I think. Can I turn now? I'm pretty sure they'll attack, both of them. Yeah, they're doing it down here. 49% capture chance on Jan Wei, fucking hell. 11 units. Outnumbered 3 to 1. Yep, and it's a field battle. Look at the size of him, holy fuck. He's like twice the size of Sauron. It's fucking enormous. It's funny though, because the twin Marshal G don't actually look that heavy. So reinforcements are coming in from the left and the high ground is all the way up there to the right. So they're deploying between our reinforcements and where we want to be. Bit of a problem. Bit of a predicament. Well I can at least bring everything we start with to the high ground and make a foothold. Jan Wei with his 96 speed, 85 armor. Let's have a look at him. Fucking hell, he looks blue. Even his beard is blue, what the fuck? The mane of his horse is blue, his beard is blue, his armor's blue, his swords are blue. Don't know what's going on there, bit weird. And then Sauren's blue as well. Likewise was horse. Alright, is that a texture glitch? What the fuck? Why is everything blue? I mean, these guys are not blue. But Sauren and Jan Wei are blue. It's fucking weird. I mean, the, the beard just... yeah, something's going on there. Something wrong. So there's the match Jian. He's meant to be carrying, of course, the big Marshal G, the dual-wielding G, so... He's got them instead, and they look flimsy as fuck. I mean, I could carry those things. They're meant to weigh like 20 or 30 kilograms each. So they're meant to be, like, held with both hands, each of them, but Jan Wei logs two of them onto the battlefield, one in each hand. Cause he can do that. But when I'm looking at these, I am not impressed. They are shabby looking man, like they look like they would fucking snap. Yeah man. Alright, so I'm taking the high ground. Highest armor and high speed on the battlefield. And we've got... Five units of Exiliar Cavalry. So I'm going to rush for this high ground, maybe have Jan Wei with his 99, 98 men high charge bonus coming down off the hill. Good synergy there. High ground, sloped charge with a lot of men and high charge bonus on all of them. Perfect. You can definitely just chain away down the hill, getting devastating charges. And also the fear effect, of course, scare. Yeah, hopefully I get to do a lot of that over the course of the campaign with this guy. The fucking tankiest, chunkiest, most beastly unit. I wonder what this guy's like in romance. I mean, he's given a big bodyguard like this to somewhat be equivalent to the romance stats they would have, like the way he would fight on the battlefield, feature on the field, and romance. So, yeah. On records, it's like, let's just give him a massive bodyguard and high armor. And that's a good representation of his character. <laughs> I mean, that's what the armor is anyway. It gives him resolve, gives him speed. Oh, yeah, I forgot that. His armor's given him resolve in addition to his, uh, his background. <laughs> Brute of unmatched strength. I think I should definitely have everything up here and fight my way down the hill. There's a unit of swords and spears coming. I should pull them out. I shouldn't back off. I should let them come for me. Break off the main army and come for me. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna bait them up. Maybe have the axes feature. I could pull them up to here and then have my axes pin them and then 
or at least distract them. Definitely can't charge that right now. Bows will fire and spears will reflect. Gotta just let them come. Do not want to get caught by these cavalry units. They've got sabers and lancers and I want to... I would actually take the fight against the sabers, even if it involved being charged, because they have mostly base damage, not much armor piercing. So that would go well. Gotta be careful though, they're, they're coming for me out there. They're making a go. What are they doing here? What the fuck? I might have to just brace. Because it seems like they're going for the axes. And that's good. If I can just pull them off the army a few units at a time, I can handle this. And I think I want to have my Saber Cavalry militia down there. I hope they keep coming. I'm taking that charge. Let's match them in terms of the width of the unit and take the charge. They're gonna brace. And then I can chain into the Saber Cavalry. That was not bad, I think. So we killed 60, 80, 87, 96, 99. Yeah. Not bad. And they're running. I want to kill them to... Fuck. I need to kill them to the last man. It's one of those fights. I need to chase them. Shit. Oh no, but now I'm gonna get charged there. Fuck. Alright, I can bring a unit of Lancers over. I don't want to get shot at by the archers, though. Fuck. Oh no, the spears. Fuck. Get away. 40 left. Oh wait, they're not. <laughs> Alright, this could go quite well, I think. We only lost two in that charge to kill the whole fucking unit. So that's like two losses for 200, so it's a, re a KD of 100. Fucking sweet. And they're all going for the Saber Militia. And if the Shock Cavalry chase, I can move faster than them, so they can't ever catch me down there. So I can get a really good fight here. I really want to fucking... I'm wasting Jan Wei having him chase this unit of fucking 20 guys. I want to do this properly though. I need to kill him to the last man. And I need to take as few losses as possible so we can follow up properly. Come on. 5, 4, 3... And I can... Am I tired yet? Tired, yeah. Ship. So they they might be fresh and able to uh, bring him down Sauren for this shit. And are they all dead? I think they are. Alright. So let's go around and go back up. Uh, I want to split them up, so if I can pull units off with the Saber Militia Cavalry, perfect. And they're hidden now, so I need to be aware. Axes, I'm going to retake a good angle with. I'm going to have Sauren come over. Right, well, there's the Saber Cavalry, they're there. Patch 1.3 is coming soon, and they're going to rework some of the stamina and fatigue. So I've got to really pay attention to that. Be careful, be wary. I like how I can move faster and shrug off arrows with these four units down here. And I like how the archers are given chase. Like, three units have went down in pursuit of my Saber Cavalry Militia. Perfect. And if I can bait, bait these units, bait this unit into these units here, that'll be perfect. Spears are down there. Yeah, I should use this opportunity to take out a Saber Cavalry right now. If I can do that. If I can do that. Gotta keep an eye on everything. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, is that a free charge? I hope it is. Fucking hope that's a free charge. I think it was. But it was ineffective because we only killed... F fucking hell, lost 4 for 4. <laughs> Gonna go around, get a good angle and... Take a charge into the back. And then that should be the end of this unit. And then the spears there, archers might try and fire soon. Very tired. Shit. 
And I'm going to leave Sao Ren in that fight. Can move Maxis down here. Have my cavalry ready. They should not last. Saber cavalry with 26 base damage, 7 armor piercing against 85 armor. Yeah, they're screwed. And this is what I didn't want. They're meddling, interfering. That 85 armor is not going to be very effective against 20 armor piercing. And I need to get. I need to make sure everything dies, so. Give chase there. Alright, I'm going to use this opportunity to swarm and take out the archer militia if I can. Giant infantry captain down there. Alright. Let's take out these four units. Still the shock cavalry down there. So I'm going to try and pin the spears. And then get some good charges. And I'm going to have Jan Wei in the middle of that shit. Hopefully morale debuffing. I'm going to put them in the middle right now in fact. And yeah, they're chased. So... High speed, come on. Get them, get them, get them. That spear unit's gonna turn. Yeah, they're getting close. So they tried to group up. Taking that charge head on there. And they're gonna route, I think. And that mighty knockback downhill. Got mighty knockback on Lady Bayan too, don't we? Yeah, we do, sweet. And yeah, we're getting these charges. Nice. Pulling him out. Come on, get away, get away. Alright, I'm gonna just commit to this fight and forget about chasing them, mostly, for now. I do not want to let any charge happen from those Lancers. Fuck that shit. Come on, take them out. They're the problem right now. Gonna have the tanks chase them. Gonna have fucking Jan Wei come round and give the finishing bolt. No, shit, 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 shit. Alright, I've got to just commit everything then. Fuck it. Commit everything, commit everything. Gotta have Jan Wei come down here and block this charge. Gonna have to break off. Shit. I'm going to have to mop up with these units here. Alright, I'm blocking that charge down there. Come on, get them, get them, get them. Oh no, running the gauntlet there. Fuck. And yeah, I think I got that charge blocked. Sweet. Alright. This is not bad. Come on, Lady Bayan, don't die. And that should be the coup de grace down there. And Sao Ren, I think, did alright. I don't think he ate that charge. I think he's okay. And then... Fuck. Come on. Come on, man. Oh, and Lady Bayan's in trouble. Shit. And I can pull it in this fight now, I think. No, wait, I can't. I've got to stay in. Shit. Come on, what's going on here? Come on, come on, fucking get them. Holy shit. And they're routing, sweet. Oh no, my lancers. They might be getting depleted. And we've got all the archers, perfect. Not bad. That was quite nice. Handled that well, reacted properly, waited for the right moment to commit all the pieces of saber cavalry and militia at the back went well. Could have went, could have went badly. Lady Bayan was kind of looking in trouble there a little bit, but yeah, it worked, it worked out well. And I think, do we have any stragglers that can fuck this up? That unit, what the fuck? 13 kills, I forgot about them, must have forgot about them. Shit. And now it's just about routing them down there. Lady Bayan, get the fuck out of there, holy shit. Get the fuck out. 20 at 45. I think there's a chance she could have died there then. 
Jesus. And I think everything's gonna ruin now. Nineteen at forty-five. Shit, man. Oh come on, dodge those arrows. Oh no, they're both firing. Fucking hell. No loose formation even. Fucking. And they're all gonna root. Okay. Oh my god, man. <laughs> I don't know, man. I think that was pretty good. How the fuck was their unit launchers just sitting up there on the fucking hill? I had a feeling that I was a unit short, but I had fewer units than I should have. Fucking 42 out of 42 as well. And this unit with its 12 men. Oh man. That was really good that the unit of Lancers got bogged down and didn't get a proper charge into Sao Ren. At least I think they didn't. Lady Bayan though. Fucking archer units. This is why I'm so wary of enemy archers because if they get to just sit and shoot for extended periods, they will pick up kills. Like, this unit here, did it get, get 27 kills? 27 kills on fucking cavalry. Little pricks. And that unit gets 16. Come on, kill them all. Yeah, so that's it, I think. That's gotta be it. Eight Lancers left. Oh man, are they gonna survive? Hope they don't survive, come on. Yeah, let's get Jan Weaver there. So how many kills? 600 kills for 15 losses. That's not bad. That's like a 40 KD. Pretty good. Uh, and the Lancers made it off. 40 archers there. And everything's been chased. What? Did they make it off? Nah. They died. So it's just these guys. 150... 150. So that's the... G infantry captain and they only get 4 kills. Lady Bayan is coming up for 500 kills. Not bad. And... come on, what were we waiting for? What the fuck? One ma- yeah there we go. Heroic victory, not bad. Not too shabby. Axe has got 120 kills. 97 kills. And yeah, look at that. Oh wait, what the fuck? Oh yeah, the spears got kills because they were fighting against axes in the melee. Of course. Yeah, so that was really good. That could have went bad there with Lady Bayan, but overall that was fucking sweet. So we lost 200 kill to this Tundra, so KD of about 11. Nice. 800 income, 4% 4, 4 replenishment, yeah I'm taking income. What the fuck? Say wrong, declared war. Alright. Oh, I got a really good comment on proper articulation of Chinese for consonant sounds like sh, sh. So if it was going to be what was it? What was his name? Che Che, che Juan. It would be Che Juan. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah that tip made my night. Chase one, chase one, chase one. Yeah. Basically, you press your tongue against your fucking bottom teeth, and that's the Chinese modification of those consonant sounds. And when I started trying that out, oh man, so much shit made sense. <laughs> those are the comments that I like. That shit made my fucking day, man. Why are we looking at this again? What the fuck? Ooh, nine chapters on the mathematical art. So this is one of those books. Sao Ren and the tank are fucking all sworn. Can we milk? 49, and then 66, and then 38. So I think we could actually. Cunning and satisfaction, and that gives the set monopoly, 25% trade influence. Mm, so if we had three of them. We'd get 75% trade influence. Cunning and satisfaction, well, that's obviously got to go on this guy. Holy shit. So he's got 53% ammo now, 123 cunning. There's not any cunning sword. Authority is what you usually would go with, I think, for 
a strategist. But that melee evasion, I don't know. This guy's bodyguard, generally strategists are overlooked I think, but bodyguards of strategists can do a hell of a lot of killing in the right situations. 400-500 kills is not possible with a strategist and his squishy unit of light cavalry. So how much ammo? 32 now. 32 and 22, pretty good. So that was a really good item to randomly get, refined. Nine chapters on the mathematical art. Sweet. And can we now... No, of course not. So that's given us satisfaction of six, so that works out at like 40 a turn from this guy having this. So 40 a turn and extra ammo. And the plus four reserves for being a, an administrator, but that's irrelevant. No way, he isn't a fucking administrator. <laughs> so it's actually perfect synergy right now. Well, wow. but who cares about reserves unless I'm going to have another administrator doing an assignment that reduces them, like the population one. Why the fuck did these guys not sally forth? They just got backed up by Wang Yun and they haven't sallied forth. Are they going to back them up? What the fuck? And I didn't get this fucking city either. Fuck's sake, man. Fucking hell, it pisses me off. So what made it away? What the fuck made it away? The fucking eight Lancers. Oh my god, man. We had Jan Wei right on top of them, a big massive fat fucking bodyguard. Just absolutely clattering them from fucking behind. Eight made it away, holy shit. 25% chance of capture, and yeah, I'm going with that. Yep, going with that shit. So, this is now a good sentinel to have in any army. This guy, together with Gojia, with his 25% that we got, would be good for 50%. So, I think I can capture this guy, maybe. So he's unbreakable, but if we auto-resolve, maybe we'll capture him. He just pitched a tent outside of the city, for some reason. Like, he is currently... I think that's an encampment, or whatever it's called. Yeah, that's an encampment he's made there. Look, there's the watchtowers on either corner. So, I don't know what's going on there. I think maybe, nah, they can't attack. The hand cannot attack, so they were just... Let's see. Nah, they're not backing them up. What the fuck? Interesting. Alright, well, fuck's sake, man, I need to... And this is gonna be bad, because... Oh, man, like, see if I... Pyrrhic victory? Fuck. So we would lose so many men. Oh, how should I... I didn't want to have to do this. And also... That means that we didn't get income from this town for that turn. God damn it, man. This is the kind of bullshit that I don't want to get bogged down doing. Like, I wanted to avoid this. See if we just fucking caught those eight guys. In fact, we wouldn't even have to have killed all eight of them. I think if we just killed another one or two, then the unit would have fragmented. Oh, look at the state of this shit, man. Alright, so we didn't get our reinforcements. Oh wait, the reinforcements coming from there, okay. <laughs> so this is a really exposed section. Uh, we besieged them though, so some of the towers should be broken. Shouldn't they? Damage, yeah okay, so... This shit is all damaged, so... Come in from here. Batter down the gate. Easy peasy. 
Eight fucking guys. Holy shit, man. Eight guys. Is the oh, and there's a trebuchet right there that's loading. Holy fuck. Alright, well, I'm getting right up there. Oh, so I think I can just dismount. Oh, uh, they're not even coming to help. They're just gonna let me. Yeah. Alright, well, I'm getting the ram up there. And then I think I'm gonna have my axes. No, no. I'm gonna have my saber cavalry just charge that shit. So I'm gonna batter down the gate and have the saber cavalry with their high range block chance. 65% though only. Fucking hell. Well, at least we get XP for this. Come on, what are they doing? What are they doing? Yeah, I've never seen this before. I don't usually bother doing this. Come on, bash that shit. Bash that fucking shit, man. Come on. Animal hide. Tarped onto the top. Cool. Oh, well, you can hear them. Can you see any guys on there? Nah. What the fuck, it just smashed. Alright. Well, we're in. And I'm pretty sure that was an animated log just fucking dangling in there and senseless articulation. Creepy shit. And we can probably go up there and take out this trebuchet. I'm doing that. Fuck them up. And might as well just charge. Eight men just about running this gauntlet. And getting the charge in. Doesn't even matter if they charge back. Doesn't even matter. Because there's only eight of them. So let's just get this over with. Oh, and this is something I wanted to do. Well, I'm gonna get to do it. Scaling the walls with the ropes. So they throw a... What's it called? Yeah, they throw a fucking grappling hook up and then they, they climb up the ropes. It's pretty good. I like that feature. It's a really... They've done a really good job of streamlining the gameplay. Like, I don't know how many of you are aware of how fucked up it was on games like Medieval 2, where you would have pathfinding, and bugs and glitches and really fucked up AI. All this crap that you had to deal with. But in this one, like, if you have infantry, you can just scale the walls. I mean, it's no big deal. Look at that. I'm just fell in here, fell in time. Demonstrating cool features. But yeah, I really like this. Like, this is why I actually came back and started playing Total War again, because this is actually a pretty well designed, well polished game. It's very it's eminently playable. And they're not even charging back. Did I say eminently playable, well designed, bug free? That doesn't apply to when Lancers are sitting, defending the city. Towers are doing more from all the way over there. Fucking hell. Was that intended? Alright, what we want. And we get XP for all our generals, hopefully. And this unit of Axemen maybe got a big chunk of, a big wad of XP for killing that trebuchet unit. Who knows? Who the fuck knows? Five minutes, but I fast forwarded most of it. They killed two. Ah! And we have the city. But it's damaged because we battered down the gate and besieged it and all that shit for a turn when we could have just had it already. But we did get 400 there, so. And repairing all this. And this is a farming commandery, so. I'm gonna fix this shop and then maybe destroy it later on, replace it with good stuff that synergizes properly. And I've now got two armies here. What's the replenishment here? 8% 10% from having supplies. And then I think I'm going to move towards the toolmaker. So I should be ready for that. They're gaining supplies while they're in the city, I think. So I'm just gonna leave them there to do that. 
replenishing at a rate of 10% and 4%? What the fuck? Hmm. So I'm gonna leave them there for this turn to replenish and then move out. Maybe next turn to take the Toolmaker. And then it's down here for the small city. And then I think there's territories down here we want. So we're taking everything north of the Yangtze. So probably gonna have to turn north and take on He Yi up here eventually if they declare war. They might take some farmland before we can stop them. But this has a good garrison, so I don't know. Alright, this fight. So we're besieging the city, we're actually attacking it, and we have a ram, and we have archers, crossbows, decent number of saber militia apart from these two units here. Yeah, okay. So we're not really outnumbered by much, but they do have walls, they do have towers. Gotta be careful, play this properly. I don't know what's going on with... Pan army that's just sitting outside the fucking town. That's kind of weird. I don't know why they just parked right outside the town. Very strange. Because they're just asking to get fucking wrecked. Oh, like there's a lion. Oh, and he's really hungry, by the way. Pull out a deck chair and just sit in front of him. What the fuck? Bizarre. Alright, have we damaged any of the towers? Oh, we've got this one, alright, so... We've got one tower damaged in the corner. Shit, thought we could have done better than that. What I'm gonna do, I think, is... Position everything over... Here. And then... Move everything around slowly. So, hopefully they'll all deploy- no wait, there's trees here I can use, so maybe I should- mm. Nah, I think that tower being out is a significant advantage. So, alright, position at the front, and then manoeuvre around to the right. Starting with these 85% range block chance saber militia that we can dismount and scale the walls with, and start- Moving along, taking all the towers, clearing a path, and then we can maybe scale the walls with archers and take some rear shots into spearmen. That's a viable tactic, I think. Also, if their archers come off the walls and start trying to reposition to take us on over the side, we can charge them down with cavalry. We can have Sao Sao to be fast, so he can quickly exploit any opportunities we make. I can outrange them, so they've got up to here. Crossbows have better range than archers, and I think even the tower, so 22 ammo. I'm gonna disable skirmish in case we have to move up to the walls with them and don't want the AI bugging out. And then I'll let them fire it well onto these archers, I think. It's the only way they're going to realistically get to use their ammo, so... Yeah. And then I'm going to attack from... Yeah, this side. So I'm going to put them here. Scale the walls with Defilade from... The Fort Tower there. Right, what's going on here? What's going on here? Archers are moving. Alright, so I can position a little bit closer. Hopefully don't fire. I'm in range yet. I want them to fire. Fuck it then, don't. So we made it all the way up to the walls. We can dismount and start scaling. And I want to be defilated while I do this. Like these Bastions, yeah, Bastions. No shield from those towers there. And I want to stick to the front, I think. No, wait, wait. No, these towers here make it a bit of a problem. I think I'm going to move down and take the towers. Archers are coming along. Spearmen are coming up. Fuck. Alright, well. Time to just bring everything around now. 
Yeah, right, we're attacking up this side. Fuck it. Gotta be wary of their cavalry. So I'm gonna capture along this side. Might even send my Saber Militia down to take these towers. And then I think I'll probably fight them in the streets down here. Um, in range of that tower there, fuck. So, the, the more shit I capture, I can't take that right now because there's spears on it, fucking bastards. I can capture all this stuff along here, and I'll have this gate to send my cavalry in. So if I want cavalry in the city, I've got to take a gatehouse. And I'm doing that. Sweet. How many losses have we taken? Not many. And I want to get my skirmishers on the walls so they can support during fights. So if I can pull their spears into a melee and hit them in the flanks with my skirmishers, that'll go well, I think. Yeah, they're not doing much damage. It's worth it. So now they're caught out of position pretty much. Oh shit. Don't get charged. South South Wedged can counter charge, but... Yeah, the cavalry are a problem. Come on, get ready, get ready. And I can get now. So I'm gonna keep going. Gonna keep capturing shit. Meet this threat here. Gotta watch out for the archers. Taking that charge, I think. Yeah, we're out range of the towers there. So I can get in the city now with all my cavalry. They'll be out of field of fire of the towers that way as well. Oh man, they just launched some of those horses. Yeah, man, that wedge and mighty knock back together. Sweet shit. So that's that Sabre cavalry unit out to fight, I think, or will be soon. And the skirmishers. Mm, I want to get them round. Don't want to fire yet, not like that. And I can maybe make a push for the city, that's right. And we have the tower there. Come on, capture that shit. Fucking. Yeah, we've got. I can take them on with the skirmishers, so. I'm gonna just send my skirmishers in through the gate. Oh wait, what's going on here? Yeah. Alright, this is why you want to have Saber Militia dismounted, ready to go. Well, at least I made a safe spot. I can move to up there. So, so I'll get the f fuck away from there, man. Took some losses with Sal Sal, but it's not a big deal. They're really slow. I can get my Saber Cavalry Militia onto the walls to do well in fights against these skirmishers. And I'm loose formation and getting the fuck away. So that's all the towers here dealt with. I want to get my skirmishers around to fire at this unit, I think. And if I stay at a range of the archers there, and if I hold... Well, I don't need... Uh, it's just these towers I need to hold at this point. So, if I can bring all of my shit around the side and pull them off the walls, I can start picking my fights on the ground. Oh, they're doing this though. Alright. Gotta meet them. Gotta get up there and meet them. So they're coming around with archers but not spears. So that should work out well. And I can put all of this over here. So we're out of range of their archers and we can take shots at their spearmen, especially the G with no shields. Yeah, that should go well. What the fuck are they doing there? Alright, pulling away. Gotta get away. And these units are depleted, so I'm really reluctant to do anything with them. Come on, come on, come on, fucking get them. Gotta dodge those other towers. Shit. Taking fire with these is totally fine. If I if I just take fire from their skirmishers with my saber militia on the walls, 
I can just. I don't have to worry. I'm quite lucky that they're doing that, I think. Maybe they're prioritizing these guys. I don't know. And get around here. Come on. Don't fast forward because I want to keep an eye on everything. They've got four units of archers. And these ones are getting low on ammo. Yeah, we're making it along the walls. So. We'll do well in this fight. We might send spears up and it might fuck things up, but. This fight here, Saber Militia against archers on the walls. We should pull a really good KD. And if I can get my skirmishers up here, I can start firing up that unit. Doing really good damage. And yeah, we caught them. Spear guards. If I can shoot them in the back or in the side from up on the walls, that could go well. Really though, I want to just leave the spears until the end so we can get the army lost penalty to give us the win. And they're coming up. Bastards. Alright, fire. Can deal with that shit now. Have a nice side shot and they've got no, no shield. Perfect. And I think we can actually win this now. Yeah, so... If I can push through all this, preferably from this side, I can actually get the win. And that'll give us nice flank shots into these units. This unit should route before I make it up there. This could go really well. I'm not doing very well in that fight, but buys us time. Yeah, I'm just getting over there. So they've got 110, 105, 100. Shit, I don't want to fucking. Alright, well, I'm taking that tower to reduce the damage I'm taking. They're all stuck on the walls like this, it's perfect. 83. I can actually dismount doing I think and just go for this. Oh, they're sending other spears around though. Motherfuckers. Mm, should I dismount and take the fight? Nah. Let's get a flank. Let's see what I can do here with micromanagement. This could go really well, I think. They're about to route. Alright, so we've taken that unit. Pretty much a few more kills and it's gone. And then we can fire at... Yeah. So now it's just this unit. And then we can capture the center. And that might just give us the win. And the Saber Militia are doing a good job of holding on. That high melee evasion. Pull on a decent KD now. It wasn't that good, but now it's better. And I want to get around the back of that shit. I think I can get a good rear charge. Oh yeah, definitely gonna get to now. Mighty knockback? Nope. Alright, which direction are they facing? Fuck it, let's get this shit. Oh shit, shit. Alright, we're getting the, the wedge. Oh, I'm not going. Holy shit. So, we've got them all. Fuck yeah. Center's ours. And they're holding on. And archers have just been left out of this fight. They only killed three? Holy fuck. They lost 50 to kill three of ours. Holy crap. And the center is ours. Any second. Alright, well that was kind of improvised and fucked up and weird, but it worked. We've taken so few losses, I'm really surprised. These guys are beasts, holy shit, they're like fucking conquistadors up there. Sword and buckler men, fucking hell. They really drew that fight out. I was expecting, not expecting, but I was prepared to lose them to that shit. And they've just beasted it. So we just left out the archers, that's three units that didn't really participate. A fourth unit got chewed up by the Saber Militia. A unit of spears. 
has about half strength left. They're all running into the melee now. They fired off most of their arrows and only got 18 kills. This unit fired like half of its ammo, I think, and only got one kill. Holy shit. And the timer... Oh man, fucking two minutes. Two minutes something. Alright, fast forwarding this. Oh, get back. Fuck. Are they coming over to do something? Finally? Yeah, they're bringing them off the walls, I think. It's too late, though. I'm charging that shit. Fight back before they take the site, what the fuck? Yeah, I can just leave these guys in this fight all day long. They're beasts. If they start firing, I'm gonna charge. And melt the unit. Oh man, our skirmishers are helping, in fact. <laughs> our own fucking skirmishers are firing, but theirs aren't. How many kills did they get? 100 kills on the crossbows. Oh, fuck you. Yeah, I'm just charging that then. Fuck it. So we've got a minute left. It's enough time to millish. Nah, I'm not doing it. I'm just gonna let them all die. Crossbows are firing. 100 men left in this archer unit. 40 seconds left. Mm, I just need to move around. Lose formation and move around. 30 seconds to go, it's not worth it. Running the gun under those towers to take out that unit. No point. And the archer unit is just getting shredded by the crossbows for no reason. Yeah, 20 seconds. And they're going for a melee. Yeah, they've got no ammo. Fuck it, let's get them. And we won. Did we just get... That was weird. I just saw the fucking towers shooting at their unit. What the fuck? So we didn't really get that many kills. We only used two units to the Sabre Cavalry Militia pretty much. And they did alright on the walls, but... Look, where are all the kills? Crossbows did the most. Yeah, we left half the army out of the fight. The archers pretty much just... We're alive until the end. So we just circumvented archers. Pretty sweet. And we get the same. And they run away. Are we... Are we in range to attack them? Hmm, maybe. Alright, well that's all I wanted to achieve for this part. Not bad. Two cities, hard fought. And... This is looking pretty good now. Almost taken up to the Yangtze. If you're a fan of the videos and want to help me with my ambition to keep making more, you can do that on Patreon. Thanks to all patrons, with a special thanks going out to Matteo Olivetti, Nerdington, and the Roadie 451. Cheers, chaps.